Hey friends, today let me show you a tiny little creature that looks straight out of a fairy tale, the blue sea dragon. It's teeny tiny, only about 3 to 5 centimeters long, but oh beautiful, its shimmering blue body sparkles like it's wearing a magical ocean cape. The way it floats through the water is so gentle and elegant, like a miniature mermaid gliding in slow motion. People often call it the blue angel of the sea, and honestly, it fits perfectly. But don't be fooled, just yet this cutie's got a wild side. Small and pretty, but with a powerful secret. You see, the blue sea dragon isn't just floating around looking cute, it's actually a fierce little predator, its favorite food. Deadly sea creatures like the Portuguese man o' war, a jellyfish-like animal with painful stingers. What's crazy is, after eating them, the sea dragon stores the stinging cells from its prey and keeps them in its own body. Yep, it doesn't make its own venom, it steals it and uses it as a weapon. How clever and dangerous is that? Oh, and it floats dot 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 upside down. Unlike most sea animals, this little guy floats on its back with its belly facing the sky and its back facing the ocean depths. Why? Because its light-colored belly blends in with the sunlight when seen from above while its darker back hides it from below. This kind of camouflage is nature's genius trick called countershading. So while it looks like it's just drifting peacefully, it's actually staying hidden from both predators and prey. Look, don't touch, no matter how cute it seems. Sometimes these tiny dragons get washed up on shore, and people are tempted to pick them up because they're just so adorable. But that's a big no-no. The venom it carries can still sting, causing irritation, pain, or even allergic reactions. So if you ever see one in real life, just admire it from a safe distance. Some of nature's most beautiful things are meant to be looked at, not touched.